Number 20, letter A. How much more intense is a sound that has a level 17 decibels higher than another? All right, so in order to answer this question, let me, uh, question, let me just look at uh, this formula, and I want to rework it a little bit. This says that the sound level intensity, aka beta, is going to be equal to 10 multiplied by the log, base 10, of basically the intensity divided by then the uh, hearing threshold, which is essentially 10 to the minus 12th. Okay, what I want to do is let's solve this for i. All right, so all I have to do is divide out the 10. So this is basically beta over 10 would then be equal to the log base 10 of i over 10 to the minus 12th. Now, if I want to get rid of, if I want to solve this thing for i, I got to get rid of the log. So I'm going to take base 10 of both sides. So t base 10 raised to now the beta over 10 is equal to base 10 raised to the log is 10 of i divided by 10 to the minus 12th. This cancels, and that's that's why we take the base 10 of both sides. So this is base, basically base 10 raised uh, to the beta value, the decimal value over 10, and that will now be equal to i over 10 to the minus 12th. To solve this for i, all you have to do is cross multiply. However, remember this rule of exponents. If I have 10 to the a and I multiply that by 10 to the b, I can simply rewrite this as 10 to the a plus b, okay? So uh, that taking into that taking taking that into consideration, sorry, uh, I'm going to now when I multiply these two, I'm going to basically add their exponents together. So the intensity here is going to be equal to 10 raised to the beta over. Well, this is getting a little jumbled there. Let me just move this over the over slightly. This says that now the intensity will be equal to 10. Uh, raised to the decibel value divided by 10 minus 12. And that's still getting jumbled, sorry. I'm going to move that on over there. All right, so hopefully this is clear. So this is beta. And that's all minus, take that whole exponent there and subtract 12 from it. So this formula relates intensity to decibel level, okay? Now what I want to do basically is it says how much more intense. So what does that mean? Does that mean how many times more intense? Does that mean what's the actual increase in intensity? Hmm, it's a little, little vague, but I'm going to find out how many times more intense it is, okay? So what I want to do now, now that I have all this uh, out of the way, all right? Actually, you know what you can do? You could literally memorize this formula. Actually, it's not a bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, memorize this formula, okay? Uh, you also have, and you want to memorize the other formula. This basically already solves it for intensity for you. So once you're given the decimal value, just plug it on in. And this formula over here, the beta is equal to 10 times the log base 10 uh, of I over IO. That's already solved for you in terms of decimal value. So all you got to do is plug in the intensity. See? So I would actually know both of them. Okay. Now I'm going to find the ratio. It says how much more intense is a sound, right? So I'm going to write the intensity of the higher sound divided by the intensity of the lower sound will then be equal to, and now I'm going to plug in this, 10 raised to the uh, decibel value of the higher sound divided by 10 minus 12, all then divided now by base 10 of then the lower beta sound, a uh, lower, excuse me, decibel sound divided by 10 minus 12, okay? Now, remember, another rule for exponents uh, and similar bases, if you have 10 raised to the A divided by 10 raised to the B, you can simply rewrite that as 10 raised to the A minus B, all right? Now, keeping that in mind, this is like A and this is like B. So basically now I can rewrite this and this becomes now the intensity, the higher intensity relative to the lower intensity will be equal to 10 raised to the, I'm gonna use parentheses here, to the higher decibel value over 10 minus 12 minus then, okay, the lower one, the lower beta all over 10 minus 12. So what happens when you do a little math here? Well, you realize now that the 12s will cancel, okay, and we are now left with the intensity, the higher intensity relative to the lower intensity is going to be equal to 10 raised now to the, and these are like, we have like uh, denominators there, right? So I can basically add those two together. When I do that, I basically have the higher beta minus the lower beta, all divided now by 10, okay? All right, so here's another nice little relationship that we have. Now, 
What's the lower beta? What's the higher beta? Well, we don't know, but we know the relationship between them, right? We know that the higher beta, the higher decibel value, is going to be 17 decibels higher than the lower one. So we're going to simply literally take the lower decibel value and add 17 to it, right? That's all we have to do. Now notice what happens when I plug this in, when I substitute this on in for the higher beta. What happens? Now we're going to have 10 raised to the lower beta plus 17 minus the lower beta all over 10. And what happens to these betas? See you later. So this is 10 raised to the 17 over 10. And now I can finally find the relationship, right? Isn't this just great? 17 over 10, 50.1. So basically now the ratio here, I'll bring this back a little bit, okay? So basically this was the uh, higher intensity relative to the lower intensity is basically going to be 10.1 times larger. So, what am I talking about? 10.1, 50.1. I'm literally looking in the calculator. I'm reading 10 somehow. So this is literally 50.1 times larger, the higher intensity, than it is the lower intensity. All right? So that would be the answer to letter A. And now letter B. If one sound level has a level 23 decibels less than another, what is the ratio of their intensities? All right. So we're not going to go through the whole, you know, craziness again. All we're going to do is we're going to simply plug in some stuff. All right? First, I need to create another equation. But if... Isn't if one value is 23 less than another, isn't that the same thing as saying the other value is 23 more, right? So I can basically simply say this, that the higher beta value will be equal to the lower beta value plus now 23, okay? And what I can do now is simply use the same formula and plug it on in. So we can say that the higher uh, value, the higher intensity relative to the lower will be equal to 10 raised to the higher beta minus the lower beta all over 10. I'm going to now substitute on in my BL plus 23 for the BH. So this is 10 then raised to now the B sub L plus the 23 minus the B sub L all over 10. And notice here we're basically now going to get this relationship that the higher intensity relative to the lower intensity will be equal to now, uh, what do we get? So this is basically 10 now raised to the 23 over 10. All right, and we can just plug that on in. So this is now 10 raised to the 23 over 10. So this is about 199, okay, times. So it's almost 200, right? Basically, it would be 200 considering the rounding. So 200 times. What you can do here then is you could just do the, if you wanted to find the reciprocal, that's fine too. Just do 1 over 200. And it's about 0 0.00501, whatever. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you frame it. If you want the lower relative to the higher, all you have to simply do is just switch it around, 1 over 200 then. And you'd find that that's about 0 0.00501. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We will see you soon. Take care.